local contractors find themselves entangled in an extortion scheme facing demands from criminal elements exceeding $30,000 per month to protect them. A contract in the private sector shared audio and video recordings with CNC3 News that expose an alleged gang leader's attempt to extort him and issue threats. The contract is currently overseeing a private project along the east-west corridor. The site is now under police protection. The incident began a month ago, but it intensified over the last two weeks as the nature of the calls and demands took a different and more concerning direction. CNC3 was given the recording involving the alleged gang leader and the contractor. I don't come wrong and I know vibes. Mm -hmm. Again, uh -huh. you talk that, take over, and them kind of mad thing. Uh -huh. They got better, better, close down everything and nothing. Again, I just, all it doesn't want your principal or things like that. I just show you, you know, you come like I gave you a whole overlook at security to make sure because all them years ago and I never tried to let nobody disrespect or anything. The alleged gang leader operates a criminal gang in the Mongdo area. Demands were made of the contractor to employ community members and cover security expenses. Another recording, this one 18 minutes, was obtained during an encounter at the site office when the alleged gang leader, accompanied by a few other individuals, entered the contractor's office. What are you saying? Yeah, what's going on? Why I just... Why was you on? Tell him I'm no way. No. So I said, I don't walk till Wednesday. I feel, I feel like I just take off all the current, run security every f***ing thing. I tell him, yeah, because I find it like it's a big tick shit thing, and I feel like it's a big tick shit thing with me. Last week, tensions escalated, prompting the intervention of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. You see, it's not a man there, he's walking no way, boy. He's walking a place. The, the duty is just to rub and keep and do all kind of bad things. You know why that prevents him from coming there? Huh? You are listening? I, I, boy, you have that call, see for all, eh, boy? These recordings are now in the hands of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service and senior police officials told CNC3 News that the matter is being monitored and protection is also being placed for the contractor and his workers. Last month, Member of Parliament for Orupuch East, Dr. Rudal Monilal, in a media conference urged the business community to take a decisive stance against extortion. He highlighted the involvement of gang leaders and incarcerated individuals who have been making debt threats and extorting millions of dollars from businesses. This after another incident of extortion claimed the life of a Maloney housing development contractor, Kevin Barker, last month. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News.